Well, hello and welcome back to the Adventure Creator tutorial. Today we are going to do some sort of a journal for our game here. Okay, first things first, I will add some sort of like, let's see if we have an crate or something like that. Let's go get our sprites here. Mm, there's some beds, there's a table, this, this, this will do. Okay, there's some books, so let's just use that. Um, yeah, I haven't made a proper game with these assets yet, so I'm not entirely sure what kinds of things the pack actually contains, but uh, this book will do. Let's add a hotspot for it here. Let's size down the hotspot area a little bit, like so. And next, let's see. Also add the name to the hotspot. It doesn't really matter. Um, okay. There will be a use interaction. Let's turn the face and create that. But before we actually do this, we have an add journal page in the menu here, but we have to make the element first, the menu for the journal first. It is similar to documents, but documents are ma like meant like you find a piece of paper and you read it here li right on the spot, but journal is more like you add these pages to your journal, like uh, there will be additional info about what's going on in the game and such, and maybe it could be used as a quest log, I think so, yeah. Like a Morrowind kind type of journal would be nice. I think I'm not going to add two pages to the journal though. It could be as a book, when you flip the pages and there's always two pages showing. But then you would have to have like, a, I don't remember if it's odd or even number of pages, because when you get to the end of the journal, if there's either odd or even amount of pages, it when you switch to the final page, it will fuck up the order of all the pages before that. So keep that in mind if you want to do that. It's it's a bit more complicated, but don't worry. Don't worry about it now. Let's just make a very simple journal for us. Let's make a journal. Pair type is manual. We will use the adventure creator, of course, for every menu we use the source is the adventure creator. We should pause game when enabled, so things won't be happening in the background while we read our journal. Let's determine its size. Um, sensor's position is probably fine. Um, how big do we want it to be? Maybe like 30 by 60 looks about fine. We don't really have any menu UI elements here, but we can just use the... Is the black like... It, this is just black gray. Okay, this gray is a little bit transparent. All our other menus have the same thing, so let's go with that. We want to add a journal here, and we can create new pages here. This is the page one. Hello, my journal. This is me, your owner. And as you can see, this shouldn't be set. Size shouldn't be set to automatic because it goes just like this automatically. We will modify the size to be that it fits our journal. And also text alignment, upper left, that's better. Uh, let's not let the text go all the way to the edges, so... Let's see, we have to modify it a little bit and move it around. With like three and three maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah, or five. Two and five. Five looks fine. Fiddle around with these values and see if it's in the center. 
and the height I think 50 is fine we still have room for the well maybe maybe 45 is enough we probably won't have too long things here we can also al always change like this looks a bit more like written text it, it's it's a really bad font but <laughs> don't worry about that it's what comes with adventure creator so we are we are using that next let's add some buttons this will be offset journal means that it will like offset the page or switch the page this is where it gets complicated you have to fiddle around with the offset amount like it needs to be two or whatever if you change the pages like if you have two pages and then it always switches two pages but then you have to fiddle around with the odd or even numbers so let's it let's just keep it only to one only show when effective uh, sure put on text i don't have any i mean there are some graphic graphics for the arrows yeah this is now our right arrow so let's use that size it down a bit this is quite useful though to know um like when the size is automatic um if your background textures are not like too large like if it goes beyond the like the screen it's it might be too large for this but if you set the size first to automatic it shows the automatically the correct like uh, proportions then you choose to manual make sure the lock is on and then you can resize it like uh, correctly and it doesn't like stretch that's quite useful what i found to be very helpful then just let's move our button down here maybe maybe make it like uh, the same line almost as as our text box here and i think about 83 that seems to be fine okay that's our right button if true then the shift in past the last page will open the first do we want this well this is something you can determine uh, do you want the page to go back to the first when you click the next place the next button and we have to add the journal to affect name here it's just journal okay i think we could add and click sound here I think we do actually have some button sounds here. Yes, that's a perfect. Perfect button click sound. Yeah. Um, let's just copy that right button and paste it here. Change the name to left button. There should never be two, churn, two menu elements with the same name because that could fuck things up. Because we are check usually we are checking if there is a specific named object or element in a menu so if there's two with the same name it could do some weird things okay back background texture just left arrow and position it around the same place as this one relatively speaking and this uh, offset type will be shift previous we can create new pages here but if we this is like it's like straight from the get-go these pages but um let's actually add just no don't paste we just need to add a new button to uh, we can use to actually close the menu just so we can we can actually do that um and this button will just turn off menu and let's um, relative to menu size try to position it around the center if you want to see where the center properly is you can move your menu to about there 
put that value by half or the one that should be center. And where should it be here? Just like 85, 84, 80, 86. Looks a good enough and the size is fine. Okay. Now we have a close button. Highlighted, mm, let's let's change uh, the unhighlighted to be a little bit darker and when it's highlighted it's bright white. Okay, now let's see our hotspot interaction. Here we can add a journal page or remove journal pages. Index value of minus one will add the page to the end of the journal. This is what I usually use. So if you want to have a specific order of pages, then you have to like always deal with this. But if it's just minus one, it will always add to the end. Probably good to add if not already in. You have to gather the speech for duplicates to be prevented. But if you forgot to, if if there's a possibility to get the same journal page from other places or like multiple times, you should maybe use this. But we we don't really need it here. Okay, menu containing element journal. Journal element is also named journal. I'm not entirely sure if this is a problem because this is a menu called journal and there is a journal named menu element in the menu called journal. New page text and this is where we will just add the text. This is another page of the journal. Okay, now we only have to, let's see, um, because there's an upper type of manual, I'd like to add an input key probably. <coughs> Obviously, we have to add a new input, the input manager. There is a message about the new input system for Unity, but um, there's some fiddling around to make sure it works correctly with uh, Adventure Creator. I'm sure there is uh, like a proper way to do it, but I haven't done it yet. Or I don't know if I even want to do it because it's just extra work. I don't know. If you have an opinion about why we shouldn't use the old Unity engine input system, please let me know because I haven't gotten into that. But we need to add open journal, let's say that's the name of our button, positive button J. Okay, we have active inputs here, so we might as well do one of those. So let's add the open journal also here. Um, I think this input button as defined in the input manager. So this needs to be that. And this is just the label input type button and button down. You can do some funny things with this. Like for example, I'm doing the crouch uh, in my 3D project. We might go into 3D uh, tutorials at some point. Maybe soon, because I'm moving there myself. So, yeah. This is just because to doing 2D, because uh, I have more experience with that. Available when the game is normal. So, during normal gameplay, we can activate this active inputs. And open that. And here we will just add our open our menu journal here. Okay, now, hello journal, my journal, this is me, your owner. Close that. And another page. <laughs> the new journal page has no ID number. It will not be included in the same. Yeah, you have to do that. We, I will show you soon. And this, now there is another page of the journal. Yeah. Um, yeah, and this console, uh, you have to remember the text so it uh, knows how to save it. So we go here gather text. It will say that you it's recommended to back up your project but it's fine. This has never ever done any problem for me so it added some 40 entries here. Uh, it found it some conflicted ID numbers but that's that's something you don't need to care about. When we save the game and load the game it should remember Hold on, J. This is journal. No other pages. Close that. 
add a new page here. And now we have another page. Now if we save and we load that save, it remembers things correctly. This even remembers what page we were on. Okay, that's great. That's how you do a journal. Um, then you could just go on and add uh, more pages to it. Maybe something spooky happens or something, whatever happens to the player, you can add these pages as like an uh, information about what happened. And you know how journals work, but this is just how you do uh, very simply in Adventure Creator. I hope you like this tutorial. So as I said earlier, I'm planning to go like into 3D more. And I might do let like a different approach to these journal uh, journals. Yes, too many journals here in this video. Um, into these tutorials, like this is just for what I've been doing with the 2D tutorials is just like separate things: how to do this, how to do that. But I'd like to make it into a more of a process that I'm actually going to do a game and. Then I will also show these tutorials that uh, how I do it, like like kind of like a series of let's make a game. But in the same meantime, you can also learn how you could do these kinds of things. I'm planning on probably doing some sort of like uh, PlayStation One styled graphically uh, a horror game because I've seen a lot of those lately and they're pretty cool and I like the style so I really want to do something like that. So maybe I could do like a tutorial 3D adventure creator tutorial on how you could do something like that. Let me know if you're interested and I will see you next time.